So beginning the recording. So coming to a comfortable seat, whatever you feel ready, know that this is your practice and you can rest when your body feels like it wants to rest. Totally up to you. Another option here is you could come to a reclined form and this is referred to as constructed rest. And what that might look like is reclining into the support of the earth. Knees are bent. Soles of the feet resting on your mat. And we're going to practice, or the invitation is to practice for 45 minutes, but know that if you need to leave this practice when it feels right to you, that's totally okay. You can come back to it whenever it feels right to you. When you're ready, you could join me in three breaths into the belly, inhaling into the belly, and maybe the exhale releases through the mouth or the nose, whatever feels right to you. And you could do two more of those with me if that feels right, inhaling into the belly, and exhaling, Releasing all that breath. One more. And you can start to become aware of the soles of your feet. Maybe noticing all the points where your feet are in connection with the earth that's rising up to meet them, support them. You could also choose to ground down in through these points of connection and see how that feels to you. In your own time, you're invited to bring awareness to the center point of your body. So for some people that might be around the belly, for some people that might be around the heart center. This could be a place where you could become curious about how it feels around your center point tonight. And for some of you tonight, there may not be a center point and know that's totally okay. When you're ready, you could invite your awareness up to the top of your head. Maybe you'd like to stay here, noticing what you notice. Or you could also see how it feels to gently lengthen up through the top of the head, becoming present to sensation in the back body. When that feels complete, you could bring awareness to where the breath naturally arises in your body tonight. And maybe you'd like to check out inviting some different qualities into your breath if you're curious. You could see how it feels to invite in depth and length.
softness, spaciousness. Whatever feels right to you, this is your practice. And the invitation here is to breathe together for two minutes. And know that you can let go of this practice anytime it feels right to you. Your choice. As we breathe together, you might notice what you notice here in your body, breath or mind. And when you're ready, you can let go of that breathing practice. Perhaps you could see how it feels to think about the exhale becoming a little bit longer than the inhale. And there's been studies that have shown that lengthened exhales can Stimulate and nourish the nervous system by stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system in charge of rest and digest. So if that's adding to an experience of relaxation and calm, you could join me as I will provide points where we can reconnect with that length and exhale throughout the practice. But know that simply noticing your breath could be considered a tool for regulating the nervous system as well. And when you're ready, you could start to open the eyes if they're closed and shift your form to Make yourself a little bit more comfortable. And from here, where the invitation is to go into head turns. So when you're ready, you could start to very slowly turn your head to the right. And maybe here you become present to sensation in the neck and shoulders. When you're ready, you could bring your head through center and turn your head to the left. Always working through your comfortable range of motion. One more breath here. And when that feels complete, you could come and bring your head back to center and in preparation for our next flow, you can start to extend your arms out in front of your shoulders. Maybe give it a little wiggle in your, in your fingers and you could see how it feels to flow your arms above the head and then down towards your lap. This is your invitation to flow here. And if it feels right to you, you can start to link this movement with breath. Maybe inhaling to extend the arms and exhaling to lower them. Or whatever breathing pattern feels right to you. 
the linking movement with breath is also been shown to stimulate the rest and digest part of our nervous system. And you can let go of this flow whenever it feels right to you. Or you could flow from my count. Flowing for four. But whatever pace feels right to you. Flowing for three. Flowing for two. And flowing for one. Then you could bring your hands to rest at your sides and you're invited to check in on your breath. See how it feels. And maybe you'd like to make some choices about how you want to breathe. You could call that in now. And when you're ready, you're invited to bring one knee in towards your chest, or maybe you'd like to bring both knees in, totally up to you. And if you're doing one knee, uh, I'll let you know when it's time to switch to the other side. And as we hug the knee and you could notice how that feels in the back body. And when you're ready, you can lower the one leg and hug the other knee in. And this is a form that could help to stimulate digestion. And then you could release that down. Invitation to connect with your breath again. And then when you're ready, you could start to extend your, if you're reclined, extend your right leg up. And then if you were seated, you could extend your right leg forward lengthening your right leg and the heel resting on the ground. Now, if you're reclined, you could maybe bring your hands behind the leg if that feels right to you. Or if you're seated, you could bring your palms to rest on your lap and begin to tip forward at the pelvis. And maybe here you notice how it feels in the back of the right leg and you could Breathe here for four. Maybe this is a place where you're coming back into some lengthened exhales. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. When you're ready to Release that leg down, you can do so. And then when you're ready, coming into the other side. And maybe you breathe here again for four. Three. Two. And one, when that feels complete, releasing your left foot down to the earth, then we can go into our next form. And this form um, could be helpful for people who experience discomfort or pain in their low back. And so if you've been to a doctor, you might know this one already. So to prepare, you could bring your right ankle to rest over top of your left knee. And you could stay here, or if you were seated, you could start to fold forward at the hip, becoming present to sensation in that right leg. Or if you were reclined, you might want to see how it feels to bring your fingers to interlace behind that left leg. 
or maybe in front of the left shin. And you might also bring awareness to sensation in the sit muscles here. And you're invited to breathe here in this form for a couple more breath cycles. When you're ready, you can rise up if you're seated. If you're reclined, release that left foot to the ground. And when you're ready, you can move into the same form on the other side. So if you're seated, you can start to tip forward at the hip, noticing how that feels in the left leg or if you're reclined, again, maybe we're interlacing our fingers behind this leg. And you might notice that the experience of this form might change from side to side. And know that that's totally normal. If it feels right to you, you could breathe here for another couple breath cycles. And when you're ready, you could come and sit upright if you're in your seated form and release your feet to the ground. And if you're reclined, you're invited to come onto your side, maybe use your hands to support you. And we're going to prepare here for something called spinal weight. So if you're seated, you can stay where you are. If you're on the ground, you could bring your hands underneath your shoulders to support your upper body and your knees underneath your hips to support your lower body. And here's the invitation for flow. On the inhale, we could arch through our front body. And on the exhale, we could arch through our back body. Inhaling, arching open through the front body and exhaling, arching open through the back body. And you're invited to flow here at your own pace, with your own breath. And again, you can rest when the body feels called to, or you could flow here for four, Flowing for three. Flowing for two. And then flowing for one. And then to prepare for our next flow, you can tuck the toes under. Now, we're the invitation here is to come to inversion. So what Deborah's is gonna do is she's gonna come out of her chair and she's gonna face the wall um, for this inversion. She's gonna reach her hands up above her head, palms pressed into the wall. Um, yeah, here. Out of Mukha Shavasa or whatever. Uh, and feet are maybe hip distance apart. So what Deborah is gonna do, is she's gonna start to reach back through her sit bones while putting some pressure into her hands. And then if you were on the ground, you could press through the heels, reach the sit bones up towards the sky. And you might want to bend your right knee to release your left heel and bend your left knee to release your right heel. So if you're doing Deborah's variation and it feels like it's intense, you can walk it out like she's doing or you know that the closer your feet are to the wall, the less intense it's gonna be. And maybe here you could bring awareness to your back body. And you're invited to breathe here for another two breaths. And then when you're ready, you could start if you're against the wall, you can walk your feet towards the wall, 
and lower your arms or if you're on the ground, you can start to walk your feet towards your hands and your hands towards your feet. Big bend in the knees and press your feet up to standing. And when you're ready, you can meet me here. Okay. And for the next form, it's, this is a form that can help to um, also uh, create a little bit more ease in the lower back. So what Deborah's gonna do is she's gonna shift her feet over to her right side and still facing the camera. We're gonna go into a, a lunge. Okay. Yeah, so she can just shift her feet over to the right and begin to step her right foot back to the side of the chair. And she's gonna make sure, you can face completely the camera. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And that front ankle is gonna be underneath the knee in order to keep it safe. So for the standing variation here, you can start to step that right foot back a comfortable distance. And maybe here you lengthen down through your tailbone and you might notice how that feels in the lower body and we could bend that left knee. And while you're here, you can start to see how it feels to ground down through the feet. Maybe becoming present to sensation in the leg. And hands could be at the sides, or you could see how it feels to extend the arms to a comfortable height over the head or not. Hands could also be at the heart or at the hip, totally up to you. And if you're curious, you could, and it feels comfortable in your body, you could breathe here for another couple of breaths with me. Maybe breathing for one more breath. And then letting go of the arms when it feels ready to you. And set that right foot forward. And then we'll go into the other side, beginning by stepping our left leg back. Again, comfortable distance. And maybe here we Start to ground down into the feet. That right knee is bent and the ankles underneath the knee to keep the knee comfortable. And starting to become present to sensation in the legs. So you could stay here. Maybe you're lengthening down to the tailbone or you could come and bring your arms up again. You could breathe here for a couple more breath cycles or not, your choice. One more breath here. And then releasing the arms when you feel ready. And then you can step that back foot forward. Okay. <clears throat> so from here, I'm gonna invite Deborah to come up out of the chair to create a little bit more, um, and she can use the chair to support her. So if you wanna um, come behind the chair, it feels really weird to instruct Deborah. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Okay, so from here, so she, you can see that she's got her hands on the chair and it's there to feel, make her feel safe and supported. Okay, and when you're ready, you could take a small step back with your left foot and you can start to shift your weight between the front foot and the back foot. And the invitation here is to become present to all the sensation in the soles of the feet. And maybe you want to start to lift one foot off a bit. Or maybe one foot comes off or not. Totally up to you. When that feels complete, we could switch sides. We're going to bring that left foot forward. Maybe take a breath here or two. 
And then when you're ready, you can take a small step back with that right foot and begin to shift weight forward and back. Maybe checking in with the breath. Maybe the exhales lengthen. Maybe the feet start to lift or hover or not. That doesn't have to happen. Great. And then you can let that go, bringing the soles of both feet together. I'm taking a moment here to experience the sensation in both feet at the same time. And maybe here we could start to ground down through the soles of the feet. And if you were at the chair and you didn't want to be at the chair and, or didn't have one, you could also do this with your back against the wall for stability. That's another choice you could make. The invitation here is to keep pressing down to the soles of the feet. And if it's available to you, you could also see how it feels in the upper body to open the palms, maybe separating the fingers. Maybe we're here breathing together, noticing sensation in our legs for four. Three, two, and one, and you could soften, release. And from here, you're invited to go into a fold. So Deborah's gonna show us how it looks to either do it seated or, and I can show you standing, okay. So from here, we could begin by grounding through the feet. And Deborah's gonna bring her palms to her lap to support her upper body. And note, if you're in the standing position, you can bend your knees as much as you need to to reduce the amount of information that might be happening in the legs and the lower back, okay? So when you're ready, you could join me in taking an inhale. And then when you're ready, you could start to tip forward at the pelvis as far down as it feels right in your body. And know that you don't have to come down all the way where you can only come as far as you need to to experience sensation in the back of the legs here. Or maybe the hands want to rest on the legs or if your hands are available to reach the floor, you can rest them there, or hands could be in the elbows. You can check out and see what feels right to you. And the head could have a little wiggle in it. And you're invited to maybe come back into those lengthened exhales. And you can come up when you feel ready. We could breathe here for a couple more breath cycles. These forward folds are also forms that can stimulate the rest and digest nervous system. And if your hands are on your legs somewhere, you can start to press them in to rise up. Or if you're folded forward, you can start to Press your hands up the legs, rising up at your own pace. Yeah, there we go. So in preparation for our next form, you could start to extend the right leg forward. And this is gonna be going into a little bit more balancing. So if you want, you can bring the wall between you or behind you, or you can stay seated totally up to you. So when you're ready, you can start to bring your right foot forward, leg is extended on the heel. 
and you can see how it feels to ground down through the soles of both feet. Or if it feels right to you, you could check out starting to slowly lift that right leg up to whatever height feels right to you. This is your practice. The hands can be where they feel most comfortable. It could be at the sides or the arms extended up. And the invitation here is to breathe from my count, but know that you can let go of this form whenever it feels right to you. Breathing for four. Maybe we have some lengthened exhales here. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. Breathing for one and releasing down, stepping that right foot underneath. And then when you're ready, we can take a breath or two. Maybe we're connecting back in with those lengthened exhales. You could also see how it feels to invite breath into your belly. For some people, belly breath also can support an experience of relaxation and calm. And when you're ready, we can start to prepare for the other side by bringing our left heel forward and know that you could stay here. This is one way we could practice this form together. Heel on the ground, pressing through or grounding down through both soles of the feet. Or if it feels right to you, you could start to hover that left leg. Maybe the arms become involved or not. And you could Breathe here as long as you want, or breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. Breathing for one, then releasing the arms, stepping that left foot back, whenever it feels right to you. So we're going to go, I'm going to invite you to come back down to the mat and Deborah can stay seated. And this is a, another form you could check out if you want to um, connect in with that experience of relaxation and calm. Okay. So I'm going to invite Deborah to show a couple variations of how this might look. Uh, the last one. No, 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 it's okay. You can stay where you are. So the floor variation could look something like maybe the knees are close to each other, or maybe the knees are wider than the hips. And you could start to see how it feels to reach the sit bones back towards the heels. And maybe the arms and the head release down to the mat. And But if the head couldn't release, you could also see how it feels to stack fists or forearms to support the forehead. So that's the mat variation. So a couple of variations that Deborah is going to show is she could go into a forward fold. When we hinge the body forward, we're again stimulating the rest and digest nervous system. Or another variation that she could demonstrate is to come and rise back up and hug one knee at a time into the chest. So I'm gonna, well, you can watch her and she can time. And you can see when she's going into the other side. I'm gonna come back down into my variation And maybe in these forms, you become present to sensation in the back body. And 
then when you feel ready, you could rise upward if you're in the chair, if you're on the mat, you can bring your palms underneath your shoulders and gently press up. And if you're on the mat, you can come into a comfortable seated form as we prepare for our turn. Okay, so if you're on the mat, it's totally up to you what feels comfortable. If you had a bolster or a pillow, you could bring it underneath your sit bones. Sometimes people that experience discomfort in their lower back find that takes a little bit of um, pressure out of it. Uh, you could have your legs extended. You could cross your legs. That's another option here. Okay. And <clears throat> From here, we're gonna, you're gonna invite to take another breath and inhale. Maybe we come back to that lengthening up through the top of the head. And then when you're ready, you can start to turn the body towards the right. Maybe that turn starts in the pelvis. And hands can be where they feel most comfortable. Some people might enjoy, if you're on the mat, bringing your right hand behind you on the tips of your fingers to support the back and maybe the left arm comes over across. Turning only as far as it feels comfortable in your body. And you could come out whenever it feels right to you or breathing here for four. Maybe noticing how it feels in the spine here. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. And when you're ready, you can start to make your way back to center. And before we go into the other side, you're invited to take another breath, maybe lengthening up to the top of the head and noticing how that feels in the back body. And if your legs are crossed, you can switch sides. And then when you're ready, maybe that movement comes from the lower back. You can start to, or maybe the pelvis, you can start to See how it feels to turn towards your left. It's only coming as far to the left as feels comfortable to you. And that left hand could come behind, resting on the fingertips. Maybe the right arm wants to come across. And you could breathe here for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. And when you're ready, you could start to come back to center. And maybe releasing the legs here. And <clears throat> the invitation here is to meet me in a reclined form. <clears throat> so one way we can come into a reclined form is to come over onto one side of our body using our hands and arms to support us. And then meeting me wherever you feel most comfortable and the invitation here is to, if it feels right to you, is to check out um, some belly breath. So again, if this isn't working for you tonight, you can totally let it go and come into whatever breathing feels right to you. Here's the invitation. When you're inhaling, you can start to draw that breath into the belly. And then let the exhale go. 
And maybe on that exhale, we draw the navel in just a little bit. And then when you're ready, you could inhale back into the belly again. So the hands can be wherever they feel most comfortable. Some people enjoy having the palms rest in their belly. And the invitation here is to breathe for about a minute or so together. And I'm gonna let you know when that time's up. And when you're ready to prepare, you could become aware of the soles of your feet and start to maybe ground down through all those points of connection there. Maybe if you're reclined, you could also ground down through where the back of the head is in connection with the earth rising up to support it. Or if you're seated, you could give a gentle lengthening up through the top of the head. And when you're ready, you can start to invite your inhale into your belly. And exhaling, maybe a very gentle drawing in of the belly. Inhaling back into the belly. And exhaling, gentle gathering in. And then you're invited to breathe here for another few moments about 30 seconds. Know that I'm keeping track of time. And when you're ready, you can start to let go of that intentional breath. And for your stillness practice, it's gonna be about five minutes here. You can use whatever makes you feel most comfortable. So if you had your socks off and you want to put them back on, you can do so, or you can get a blanket or a pillow, whatever feels right to you. And once you feel comfortable, you're invited to become aware of all the points where your body is in connection with support. And you could start to ground down into those points of connection in the feet. If you're seated, you can start to ground down through the sit bones. If you're reclined, grounding down through points of connection in the back body. Maybe grounding down through the back of the shoulders or back into the back of the chair that feels comfortable. In the back of the head, if you're reclined. You can let that breath breathe in whatever way feels right to you. And maybe that's putting no effort into your breath at all. And I'm going to bring a reading out. And if you don't feel like listening to the sound of my voice, you can always mute me. Just three sentences or two sentences. It's by an uh, author named Octavia Rahim. Self-love is an energy and action. I am worthy of the time it takes to love and nourish myself deeply. 
yourself, love is an energy in action. I am worthy of the time it takes to love and nourish myself deeply. We've got another minute of stillness practice. If you need to move your body, you know you can do so at any time. You know that sometimes stillness practice can be really challenging. So if you're finding this difficult, you could see how it feels to notice your breath. When you're ready, you're invited to deepen and extend your breath. Maybe starting to think about what form you'd like to close your practice in tonight. When you're ready, you can start to make your way into that form. Maybe that means staying where you are. And there's a number of ways you can explore closing your practice. And one of those ways is to maybe connect in with a ceremony or ritual or prayer that you feel connected with. In yoga, there is uh, something known as a mudra or mud, which is a gesture of the hands. So one of them is bringing the palms together at the heart center. So you can check that out. And from the space of my heart, I want to offer you my gratitude for coming together to be in community and practice together. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. I'm going to get up and stop the recording and we can open up a Q&A or any comments here.